Hello? Um, I started to burn the butter. I know. Sorry, the phone's down there. But not heard what I was saying. Um, add slowly the flour. I'm a little disappointed that my uh, steak was at 140. It's all right, cause considering you know the contents, the no context of everything. Um, you know, that's ah, fine. But I prefer my uh, meat to be rare. And I need to lighten up because I did really well in Washington D.C. And if my if my roast is not perfect, it's fine. Um, and I have a wonderful sauce to smother it. Um, and we are doing again a uh, checking the temperature. I push them out, and you want it to get a sandy color. And I'm adding, you know, in two steps the flour. I figured, you know, I could do things over and over, and then people will be like, I know how to do this. And they're going to be really, really it's pretty stoked that they're making French Bushnell sauces. It's like something everybody did back in before the 1950s. But you got to recognize where it comes from. It comes from France. And you want to cook this. Now, remember, I started to brown the butter a little too much. I was trying, I, I put it in too soon to this uh, little pan. But you want to cook this, like I always lecture, your flour for a few minutes, man. And I can tell you, because I started with the butter, um, you want to cook it, it's like on the All Recipes, it says like seven minutes. That's a great website, All Recipes, by the way. I really love them. Um, but like I lecture, you want to cook this off. Right? The flour flavor. Um, and my, my eye of round is going to be great. I'm a rare eater. I mean, I will like it. I will love my dinner, but I was trying so hard for it to be rare. So I, these kind of things do bother her. And this is going to be gold, so we're not getting a nice, like in the fr French executives, they would say, this is not going to be a white bush amount. Oh, I know that. I'm aware we're not going for a white bush amount, are we? Not now. There's the, the gorgeous. I ground it the best I could in the Instapot. So I need to lighten up. I really need to lighten up. Okay, we're going to add our milk. Slowly. Do this over and over again and you'll be doing bush at home. I'll be very proud of you. I think I was supposed to add more flour. I might have misread my um, instructions. Just like I might have missed a teaspoon. And you should recognize this from last. This is third time I've done this. This is how common and often most households made for Shemal, and they still do in France. These sandwiches they eat in Paris have this bouchamel layer with Swiss cheese and ham. It's so good. I want to do that, but I'm not trying to do that here, man. I want to move away, you know? I put in on all that later. I'll film it very well. So this is our bouchamel, and then we're going to add our sauce. Yes, sir. And we'll keep it on low probably when it's done. And slice up my... um. Uh, red meat, and then unfortunately I have to microwave here. Let that thicken. I'm kind of rushing this. I know I'm committing a, a sin, a bushamel sin. You want to let that thicken more, but we're not doing it by the book right now because of everything. Oh, damn it. Look at what I use anyway. That sucks. Let me rinse this off. Um... I'm kind of getting irritated at this point. Let me wipe this with a sponge. Okay. There. Okay. 
push them out. We'll get to the point where we add our cheese. You can do that now. You can rush it. You can. It's not perfect if you do. Look at that. Nice, right? We're gonna add our cheese. This is plenty. We're rushing. This is not how you really want to impress, show off the queen of the kitchen. Try to just pace it out. But you can rush. It is possible. So this is going to melt and be this awesome fontina sauce for, you can see where this is going, right? For everything. And while that's melting, let's go over here. Um, and then this is where I basically prepare my plate. And check on this. And then you, you can't do everything with, with one hand, and I, I'm kind of embarrassed. I'm filming myself trying to, you know, whatever. Live and learn. I try and film. Okay, so at this point, I need to use both hands and slice my red meat. I'll take a picture if I'm proud, and it did turn out somewhat medium rare. I, I will be so happy. All right, and then I'll um, film the sauce. Well, let's go ahead while we're here. Just finish the tutorial so you can see that the cheese is melting. Okay, you, uh, basically this is the third time now with a fontina or a bushamel cheese. What did I make last time? I made Greek. Remember the Greek? Yeah, recall this. How many different recipes this sauce goes into, dude? Okay, so you got the idea, alright? Alright, bye.